There's just not enough cheese. So we're just gonna add more cheese. I'm just gonna melt the shit out of it and pray. I'm a food stylist. Consider me a makeup artist for food. I take boring, everyday, average food and make it look amazing. I'm gonna take this dried out, crusty, frozen pizza and make it look ready for its commercial debut. Everybody knows frozen pizza, but we all know that what's inside of the package is not what the picture looks like, right? So technically we're doing an unboxing, but everybody knows what a frozen pizza looks like, right? Look, it says pizza, just in case you didn't know. All right, here she is in all of her glory. So I'm taking the toppings off the pizza so I can really control the way that the toppings look. This pizza's crust is a little bit smushed, but Food Stylist always has a backup. So this is my backup pizza. There's a whole edge to this side that I think is gonna puff up really nicely when we cook it. So this is the one that I think I'm gonna use. So I'm just going back over and taking off all the toppings. I especially wanna make sure that I'm getting these little bell pepper pieces off because I don't want those to turn kind of a yucky off green or off red color. I wanna be able to brown the crust but then have total control over everything else. So for a DiGiorno Supreme pizza in particular, this particular pizza has pepperoni, sausage, green and red bell pepper, diced onion, and sliced black olives. And cheese, of course. I'm choosing to leave on some of these pieces of sausage because they're really stuck down in there. But I think out of all the toppings, if the sausage gets a little bit of extra color from the oven, it's not gonna be the worst thing. I'm really happy with the way this is right now. I'm gonna put it in the oven, like the box says, 400 degrees. We'll start at 20 minutes and take a look from there. I'm gonna go through the pieces that I picked off of the frozen pizza and pick out the ones that are the prettiest to use on our beauty pizza. Do, 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 do. First of all, I'm trying to decide whether or not I wanna use the pepperoni from the DiGiorno pizza that was frozen or store-bought pepperoni. So I think I'm gonna use the unrelated store-bought pepperoni. I really like the color. I think the thickness is really nice. And I think that this is just gonna be a little bit too dark. And to me, this looks more appetizing. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. Have you ever eaten a piece of frozen pepperoni? It's actually pretty good. So I picked off the pieces that I would like to use from the frozen pizza. I'm gonna scrap the rest and use the rest of my fresh ingredients to make the pizza look exactly how I want. So I'm gonna slice my own olives to put onto the pizza. I think that a non-frozen olive definitely has a little bit of a better look and it will probably have a better texture, but then I can also control the thickness of the slice. So when I'm slicing the olives, I'm just looking for a, a slice that's a little bit thick, so probably about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch thick. I'm looking for a clean slice, so not one that's broken, but then I'm not gonna use a butt piece like that. Those are for eating. So our beauty pizza is out of the oven and it looks great. So I just wanted to take a minute to show you why I didn't use that first pizza crust. So this was the one that was all smushed around the edges. It looks completely different. This one is beautiful, it's fluffy, it's golden, it's got a beautiful edge to it. And this one, not so much. So we're not gonna use this one. So as I'm building the pizza with the toppings, I'm really trying to give it a dynamic look. I want the toppings to be layered on top of one another, but I really want to keep it looking appetizing and inviting. So I'm layering the pepperoni where there is no toppings, but pepperoni is essentially the foundation of the pizza. So I really want to create that base layer. Overlapping, doesn't need to be too even. So with my other toppings that I saved from the earlier pizzas, now I'm going to start adding back my bell peppers. I really like that I didn't cook the bell peppers because they maintained their super vibrant color. I'm not strategically placing any topping. I really want this to seem really organic and natural. We don't want it to be too perfect. And so the olives are really sort of that last thing. I feel like we, not only you would put on a pizza, but they just fill in all those empty spaces. So I've got my toppings on there and I really can see right now that the one thing that needs to be taken care of is that since the toppings were put on and they weren't cooked, that's what needs to happen. So I'm gonna use a couple tools from my kit to make this pizza look 
super awesome. So I'm gonna get my brush and brush the crust with olive oil. When I brown the pizza again, this is really gonna make the crust even more golden brown than it already is. I really think that the olive oil makes the pizza crust look extra appetizing. Nobody wants to eat a dried out pizza. And next I'm gonna add more cheese because I feel like this pizza really just needs some more volume. When I look at the DiGiorno pizza box, the toppings are laying on top of the cheese. So I'm strategically placing the cheese where I want the cheese to go, but then I'm laying the toppings again back over the cheese. I'm also letting a couple pieces of cheese hang out onto the crust because you wanna be able to really see that cheesiness. Now I'm gonna use one of my food stylist tools to really finish this bad boy off. So I have a heat gun, and what this does is allows me to control the heat. So I'm gonna go over and melt the cheese. So the heat gun's not really doing exactly what I want it to do. So I'm gonna use my torch to see if I can get some of these pieces, especially around the crust, just a little bit more golden brown. Let's get flaming. I love how the torch is allowing me to char the edges of the crust. I think what I wanna do is hit the crust one more time with some oil so it really shines, and then we'll be ready to move on to our beauty. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil and brush it on some of these uh, sausage pieces because they look a little dry and they need a little bit of help. The crust on the pizza box is beautiful and golden, which is exactly the way mine looks, which I love. The toppings are nice, the colors are vibrant, everything looks really delicious. That's exactly what you want every time you cook a pizza, right? This is what a frozen DiGiorno pizza looks like, frozen, cooked straight out of the box. The crust doesn't look appetizing at all. The green bell peppers turns an icky shade of like brown green. The pepperoni doesn't look moist at all. It's just overall so much less appetizing than this guy. Those peppers are bright in color. The pepperoni looks greasy and delicious. The crust is shiny, it's golden. It looks ready to eat and especially ready for our beauty shot. So we've got this rad black background which makes it look exactly like it's supposed to from the commercial. The colors from the pizza itself against the black background really make everything pop and it really stands out. And you can't have a pizza commercial without an epic cheese pool. I know I have a pizza cutter, but I think a knife is gonna work so much better for this. So let's do it. So as I'm cutting through the pizza, I'm trying to keep all the toppings sort of in the same place. I don't wanna just completely ruin any of the toppings when I'm cutting through it. So I've got my slice cut, and in order to do a really great cheese pull, it's always important to make sure there's enough cheese. So I'm adding my cheese just around the edges of the crust so that when it's melted and I take the slice out, the cheese is just gonna string up like you see in any iconic cheese pull. I'm gonna take my heat gun and melt the cheese and get it extra nice and melty. So doing a cheese pull is probably one of the hardest things that you can do with food styling. It's super challenging. Cheese does not care. It has a mind of its own and it's very tough to cooperate. Okay, are you guys ready? Fingers crossed. No, I didn't do it. <laughs> There's just not enough cheese. So we're just gonna add more cheese. I'm just gonna melt the out of it and pray. That's what they say, right? All right, here we go. Woo! Now that is an epic cheese pull. It only took three times the amount of cheese. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. It's a wrap. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, click the bell. Comment below and let me know what you want to watch me style next. And please don't let it be frozen pizza.